Hello everybody, Tohammy Pro here. Today I am going to be doing another episode of Skyrim Lore. This episode is going to be on a place in Skyrim called the Labyrinthian or just the Labyrinth. Um, you may know this um, place from, most notably from the um, College of Winterhold quest line. I'm just, I feel like it has a pretty interesting um, backstory to it, and I want to talk about it, and, um, yeah, so, it was created by the dragon cult as a temple to the dragons, the dragon cult were, is basically ancient people, probably Nords, who worship dragons, um, those dragon priests you see, are all, are, were part of the dragon cult, and, pretty a pretty high up part of it and that's why there is so much dragon priest stuff going on in the labyrinthine so it's a temple to the dragons now the temple then grew to become the city of borm janner that um may have been the capital of skyrim during like the ancient ancient times but of course that's in the dragons ruled the world or at least people worship dragons and that was normal to live in a dragon temple. So, so that's like during the height of its influence. Um, it a lot of dragon priests went there, understandably, and like they met here to have meetings about stuff. And yeah, so during the Dragon War, it went through like a lot of changes, as like. The dragons decided to fight against the people of Tamriel, and they um, were because they were rebelling about them. But later, the war ended, and again, this is like this can be a separate. Everything I talk about can possibly be a second episode, uh, another episode, like the Dragon Wars. If you want, I can talk about that because I feel a little educated about that. Well, as educated you can be about Skyrim. Um, so basically, after the Dragon Wars ended, the city was abandoned and just became ruins. So this is like in the second and third era now. Um, during the ninth century of the second era, Jarl Gajeland of White Run brought it brought the city back to its formal formal glory and made it a city again. Because as you know, it's in in, in the White Run hold area, like. It's like a little like south of, it's like on the border of White Run and Morthal, but we don't know if the holds looks any different than like the borders and stuff. But he basically made it a city, and they used it for lumber and stone for other stuff. Um, in the third era, the inter the eternal um champion retrieved a piece call of the staff of chaos from inside the labyrinthine to use against the uh, imperial battle mage jagar thon later into the fourth era in the fourth era it's pretty much a ruin again just no one really cares about it. it's just memory um so, it, yeah, it's been abandoned and people just migrated away. Um, occasionally, um, trading caravans actually pass through the Labyrinthian. I'm not sure why. Maybe if you look on the map, uh, it goes through the mountains, and I guess you can use it to, because those mountains are sort of steep, you can use it to get through. Um, then again, you can go around, but. And they might be able to get some loot to sell. But, of course, it's pretty dangerous, and a lot of people died doing that. Um, so, also, yeah, and around that area, there's a lot of frost trolls. Like, even in actual Skyrim, you can see there's a whole bunch of frost trolls, and they are killers. Um, so, that's bad, but oh well. Uh... Now, this is sort of more into present, like, a uh, little older than when Skyrim takes place. Archmage of College of Winterhold, Savis Aaron, like, decided to, like, 
do the expedition in the labyrinthian. Anyway, when you're doing the College of Winterhold quest line and you're doing this quest, it's the second to last one where you retrieve Staff Magnus, spoiler alert, you can actually see the ghosts talking about this. So this is where I got some of the information about this part from. So, like, they ventured through the ruins looking for the Staff of Magnus, as in the quest that you're doing at that time when the, their ghosts are there, you're doing the same thing, and they're also in the College of Winterhold. Um, and they also are looking for other stuff, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, along with Savos and a person named Atma, there were toxin-like, toxin-lite, um, Hefanger, Ice Fist, Gyrodon and Evelyn Varen, and Savos was the only one to make it out alive. Um, so that sort of sucks, but you can. It's really cool if you actually play a level. I rarely recommend it. Um, it's hard though. So the rest basically died, like I did trying to beat it. Anyway, so Savos actually had to leave two companions of his left behind, and they were basically killed uh, and um actually at the end of the level when you're doing the boss fight against a dragon priest named moriki and um you have to kill those two mages that were left behind like the ghosts of them because they become hostile and they sort of start worshiping bringing energy to the dragon priest as you can see that's basically it for the actual like history of it. Um, I'm not really going to go into the actual level that much. Um, and fun fact, it was, um, this is in Elder Scrolls Arena as well as Skyrim, and uh, I, I don't really understand because I didn't play Arena. I just thought that was an interesting fact, just read it. Anyway, um, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoy this lore episode. Definitely comment below. Let me know what stuff you want to see, like more lore stuff. I something I really want to do is lore of like Middle Earth, Lord of the Rings stuff. But I might do that later. Um, I'm gonna read more of the books. Like get into more detail about the books because I watched all the movies in The Hobbit. Anyway, hey, comment and subscribe, people. Comment what you want to see and like it because it really helps and only takes a second. Click subscribe. You, you, you'll thank me later. Goodbye.